Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Welcome to another video. I'm Amy. If you're new to my channel, I talk about raw food, fitness, spirituality, and personal development. Today is going to be a bit of a deep video. I want to talk about surrender. Um, what is surrender, basically, and why I'm talking about it. Basically, what is surrender? Surrender is letting go. And I've talked about letting go before in other videos. And really why I'm doing this video on surrender is because... I guess it's more extreme, like, surrender, really, you have to let go of everything. Any issue, like, that you've experienced, that you're experiencing now, you've experienced in the past, you've got to let go of that to be free of it. Because so I talk about um, having, like, freedom in other videos, and being yourself, and, like, overcoming your emotions, letting go of your emotions, basically. And that's what I mean by surrender, is like anything that uh, is causing you suffering, what you need to do to really let go of it, once and for all, is just to surrender it. And you can surrender that to, like if you want to call it God of the universe, or yourself, or whatever, you can call it whatever you like, it doesn't matter. But you're surrendering to the higher part of yourself. Okay, You're, you have to let go of your old self, you have to let go of the ego, the false self, you have to let go of whatever hasn't served you in order to raise your vibration and um, like have, live without suffering, live, present, live in the present moment all the time and live without suffering. You have to really let go of everything. So this is why it's a process that takes over time. Some people, it can happen... Um, Really quickly, some people, most people, generally, it happens over a long period of time. I can't even say, I don't know how long, like, the average time it would take. But, it depends how much things you have to go through. How much, like, if you want to call it karma, things that you've, um, lessons you've got to learn. And you've got to let go of emotions when they come up, because if you've gone through trauma or something when you were a child or whatever or any kind of like if you have some kind of um you think you've had a, a mental problem in the past or whatever you've got some programming in your head that you want to get rid of you think you have like a certain illness when you when you don't when you realize you don't then you can let go of it right so you just have to whatever pain you've experienced in the past you've got to let go of that forget about the past and live in the present and if that is hard and emotions come up and you feel like you can't do it you really have to just surrender you really have to surrender when you feel like part of things holding on and it's too much or something like that um you just surrender to the higher part of yourself and let go like completely let go and sometimes you may be able to let go of everything at once Sometimes you may have to let go of everything individually, depending on your life, depending on who, you, like what, what you need to do. And yeah, the reason I'm saying this is because, like, this is the ultimate. Like, and you can, like, if you're eating raw food, you're already probably experiencing a lot of emotional detox, right? Or doing meditation. Even like the reason why meditation is difficult when people start doing it is because they don't realize how annoying their mind is right they're not used to being alone by themselves and um they're never really at peace most some most people walk around they're never really at peace that's why they have attachments to other people and they can never be alone or attachments to things or whatever it is they have kind of they, everybody has their own issues right so when you meditate you become aware of those issues and that is frightening to the ego right that is really frightening to the ego. That's why it causes pain and discomfort. And to let go of that, you have to actually feel the pain. You have to actually feel it because it's an emotion that is you've bottled down. Because that's what how we've been taught in society is to not really express our emotions, depending on like your culture or whatever, like or your, and your gender as well. Like would depend on what beliefs you have about that, and that can create things like. Like men, like it's like for men, you don't want to, like a lot of men don't want to be seen crying because that's a sign of weakness in our society. However, it doesn't mean it's a sign of weakness. I 
personally see that as a sign of strength, a man that can cry, like, in front of people, like, they're able to show their emotions, like, we, emotions are just part of a life, and being unable to, unable to express them is, like, a, creates psychological problems when you're unable to express your emotions, like, and for women, too, where taught that we shouldn't be angry you know we should be I don't know pretty and just pleasing to a man that's what we're taught in society like let go of that like I'm not saying that anger is a good thing but it's a if it's an emotion that you feel you need to express that you don't have, need to take it out on people definitely you don't need to take it out on people um, to express it in some way yourself you need to um, release that emotion because if you bottle it down um, that causes you suffering it causes you suffering more than does anybody else and that's why you need to let go of this so if you have any of these emotions that you've bottled down for a long time it can be a bit overwhelming maybe to release it but once you feel it and you really feel that emotion um, then you can let go of it if you're ready to let go of it. And if you're not ready, you don't have to let go of it. You don't have to let go of everything at once. But it is going to keep coming up until you let go of it completely. If you're on this path, if you if you want to reach your highest potential and be who you truly are, then you're going to have to you're going to have to face everything. You're going to have to face every fear that you have like I've talked about. And fear really is just an illusion. But your mind doesn't think it's an illusion, it thinks it's real. So you have to kind of trust yourself and overcome that. And sometimes you can't do it straight away. You should never force yourself to do anything you're not ready for. But just be aware that it's gonna keep coming up. So like sometimes that, that motivates um, People, that's motivated myself to let go of things if I know that it's going to keep coming up. Because you see it, it's a karmic cycle. A karmic cycle. It's just patterns that keep coming up until you deal with them. If you're not ready, you don't have to deal with it, but you, it's going to come back again. So if you want to get rid of it, once and for all, you have to surrender. Surrender, like you can meditate. Surrender, just let go of your thoughts, whatever. Surrender, control, attachments. Any ideas you have about yourself that creates the attachments and let go of the past, let go of the future, you just be fully present. And that's all I have for this video, so I hope this is helpful. And give it a like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to hear more videos, and I will see you guys next time. Alright, have a great day.